Hi TEDx viewers, I want to be talking to you today on something which is close to all our hearts and something which decides our future that is provisioning quality education for all as envisaged in the SDG 4 for example. The importance of education cannot be overstated. It levels the playing field taking any religion or a color or social status out of the picture. It is a means to improve your livelihood to yourself, to your family and to your community. But the sad reality is there are lots of children, maybe a billion, who are out of school and even who are in the school are faring well below the grade in which they are and not getting themselves equipped for the job opportunities in the 21st century. Quality education is something which requires conceptual understanding and this means that you have to for example um, learn to read very early so that you can later read to learn. World Bank recently has introduced a concept of learning poverty. What it means is at the age of 10 a child should be able to read a small paragraph in any language and comprehend it. They found that in most countries more than 50 percent of the children do not meet this criteria. So much so they have now revised the SDG 4 target to mean that by 2030 we want to half the number of such children. So unless we sort of start early you cannot address these issues because the foundations are laid when they are very young and if the foundation is weak all their future learning whatever the best of the technology techniques that we use would be of no avail and if they do not get the right skill set then they will be more of a demographic disaster than the demographic dividend which will be if they are skilled and are able to be employed properly contributing to the GDP. Even before COVID there was a very large variation in the learning outcomes. If you look at the normal curve you will see that it's wide and one of the important objectives is to narrow this variance or reduce the width and be able to move it to higher values for the learning outcome. That the mean should increase and the variance should decrease. Come COVID the entire situation became worse, schools got closed so on the lower end of the normal curve you ended up with a large hump especially for the low resource areas where they did not have the right opportunities so those people are falling so far behind that one is very worried what will happen to them are they not going to be unemployed or underemployed and cause a lot of problems for the society unless we act now and when you want to do this you would want to make use of such a technology which would help us to tide over this and be in a position to turn this crisis to an opportunity. But for doing that first let us quickly understand what is the process of conceptual understanding. What it means is that the concepts which are in my head I would like to transfer it to maybe five more maybe to hundred maybe to thousand or maybe to million and when I want to do this first you have learning materials which we call content then it has to be properly brought to the learner that is the connectivity then on a device if it's the digital content is going to be consumed it's going to be the learning process of the student it has to be properly guided in such a way that you also assess for his learning so that you under and come back with what is needed to make him understand the concepts thoroughly. So this process is something which happens again and again for every topic, every lesson, every subject. 
But then you must look at a solution from the needs. A demand-driven solution will always be more sustainable. So what do we need? We need quality contents. We need a way to transfer it to the right uh, places at the right time and we should have the way of consuming the content and have a way to assess the way the learning is happening. So all these are going to be properly done there. When you look at the content for example there's no depth of content. Today in fact we have ended up with a lot more content and so the problem is one of plenty so one has to decide what is the best which I should choose, what will fit in with my audience and how do I uh, get it ready for that consumption you know that is the easier part now when it comes to connectivity almost everyone is going with the belief that when you say digital education it means that you must provision a broadband internet connectivity to the schools to the teachers to the students and so on they think that this particular uh, provisioning is a must in order to provide digital education whereas on the other hand digital education digital contents and transforming it into their heads is something which is a different process in fact when I discuss this with even my friends I feel like Galileo Galilei when he proposed the heliocentric model when there was so much opposition because the proponents argue that until the time when we achieve this kind of a universal internet connectivity we have to go with some stopgap arrangements but then all governments all institutions are funding heavily to make sure that everybody finally will be connected to the internet and that would probably be the time when there will no more discussion on quality education because education would be achieved when access is there but when you go really and analyze the correlation between access and the learning outcomes is not strong in fact sometimes it will be even negatively correlated when you have a lot of access you end up with a lot of distractions in fact I met with lots of kids from very well-to-do families and I talk to their parents and they will think oh I bought them the latest gadget and the kind of very high broadband connectivity thinking that they will all be used for their educational process but when I later find out their kind of learning levels there's a wide variations so it's not directly correlated at all and therefore assuming that access to internet is the access to education is like saying that the most intelligent man in a community is a librarian because he has access to all the books see if a ladder is placed on the wrong wall however fast you climb you'll never reach the destination see what is good for one kind of traffic may not be the right one right communication link for some other traffic for example now for working from home which is so important during the COVID conditions or for emails or for social media interactions etc you certainly need internet connectivity and uh, if um, this latest technology is uh, for example mega constellations of low earth orbiting satellites all these would make sure that this service would be available everywhere on the globe including in the remotest village so it'll be very good but when it comes to education especially the early education you find that it's so much schedule based there is a curriculum the syllabus you have to follow lesson by lesson today is lesson one in English and you would want to teach some poetry and that poem will be taught in school one or school two or school three or school thousand all of them follow the same syllabus and therefore there's a lot of commonality in what needs to go on that day if there's a maths exam every student would like to pass question papers answered revisions and so on so therefore if there's a commonality you must look for a broadcast solution and for the broadcast solution one of the standard things that we can do is to have a satellite broadcast because satellites are inherently broadcast media and therefore it will be always the best leveler whatever goes to one very highly urban conglomerate would be the same which goes to the remotest rural community and that is very very important for example uh, about uh, 40 years ago when I was just uh, living in Bangalore in India I found that there was a time when we didn't have any television coverage at all then it started with one channel which was relayed from two different cities and all that within a couple of years the entire thing changed like anything because satellites came in and they had capacity to provide what is called 
direct to home DTH service which made sure that whatever program I watch in the five star comfort in a hotel is the same that as home in a slum area would want to get. He may not have a roof but he will have a roof antenna to receive this. So a similar kind of a, a transformation can happen in terms of delivery of education. So the advantage of such a scheme is twofold. One is the fact that we are pushing the content. The pushing means that there is no traffic congestion and the sender decides what goes in to the user devices, when it should go, how long it should reside, you can purge it also. All these can be controlled from one single central end. That's one great advantage. The other thing is that there is a one to many when you are talking about. The same thing goes to everybody. Therefore, the research on what should be the good one can be done once and for all. So that means the best teacher, best learning materials is available to everybody. The best uh, super experts are available for sort of giving clues and teaching aids to the teachers all over. So the skill variation of the teachers can be taken care of by having such a link, you know, synchronous link. And like this, what happens is if finally the assessment part is also important, I'm going to touch upon that, is something which can also be done in such a manner that that information can go to each and every location. So that's a great advantage. But then the question comes, what is the space segment? Do you have the satellites available for this? Broadcast satellites like DTH, we talked about direct to home. Here DTP, a direct to person kind of satellite. But we don't have to wait for that. Maybe we, we can put in a payload which is a hosted payload. Or simply what we can do, today we have the DTH services all over and we can directly use that service. Look at the picture I have shown a schematic where I have shown the television programs, the contents are aggregated on the teleport and uplink and the satellite brings it down to each and every small dish in the homes. Same way on the same channel we can encapsulate the digital contents. It can be files, it can be live stream, any IP stream can be sent along this on the same path and now same dish in the home or in the school can receive it but then when it comes down you take that signal and then you look at only the digital content for the education store it in a server locally and then make it available on a local hotspot to the devices of the individuals bring your own device that's what I've shown there so the important component is of course that local server also because that acts as a digital library where the co downloaded contents or what is delivered, you know, we don't use download, we don't use uh, online, we take on site, we have this particular um, content which is available for browsing by the children with no risk of any distraction, no need to check for which link is better and all because we have made the choice at the sending end. So this scheme is something which is doable right away and therefore this delivery of content via the satellite uh, itself cannot achieve the quality education because that would require hand holding and guidance which has to be done by the teachers as I was telling you the teacher uh, skill levels are widely variable and therefore rather than giving them a summer course of training and all it doesn't seem to work just in time lesson by lesson on that day's kind of topic you give them the right kind of additional tips cheat sheets which they will remember from their short term memory and be able to conduct the class better, the pupils listen better, the, they respect the teacher now more and the positive spiral sets in and this kind of a way the teachers also improve their subject matter knowledge, the pedagogy and all that and also what happens assessment is very important which has to be done by the teacher. Today the teacher is overloaded so probably he just gives you a multiple choice question and just ticks it and gives it back but it's much more than that because we believe no one is mediocre and everyone can learn if the way they want to learn you have to find out and for that purpose one shoe fits all won't work and therefore the feedback is required as to what the student needs and that the teacher only can do but in the close out of this uh, schools this is the best time to try new technologies where even local volunteers can help 
And once all the data is collected, you can certainly make machine learning and then have AI kind of techniques to make sure that the assessment component is a continuous assessment because that is very important for the demographic dividend because everyone has to finally be brought up, engaged, educated and be able to contribute to the society. Of course, India has done lots of things in this regard. They had, right from 1975 with the satellite instructional television experiment where villages were given developmental communication, then uh, exclusive satellite for education, EduSat. But now, for example, if you look at DTH channels, they have as many as 32 channels called Swam Prabha, which are all on different subject matters. But usually they are all for higher classes and they are delivered on a TV and all that, which is not the best medium for like this kind of education. But we can use that channel and ride on that and be able to conduct more of such educational uh, content delivery to remote locations in addressable form. It's a directed delivery to address directly to those particular locations. And this is immediately available and therefore such a scheme is as important like uh, the nutritional schemes which uh, make sure that the physical stunting does not take place for the children. Same way, if you keep the children properly, conceptually learned with the fundamental knowledge, that will reduce the mental stunting also. And then what we notice is this particular education is therefore delivered right at the doorsteps of each and every individual and uh, no more waiting for internet connectivity, no more waiting for smartphones which some of these people in the poorer sections of society have uh, you know sold their uh, properties in order to buy a smartphone for the child thinking that's the only way they can contribute to the education of the child but now that's all gone I think we can turn this crisis to our advantage and make sure that education gets the reform that it badly needs. We will have quality because we are making sure that this is going all the way assessment inclusive. Uniformity because satellite delivery is all the places are treated equally and therefore we will achieve uniform quality education for all and meet the goals of uh, UN bodies. Thank you.